You can build an IoT sensor for your 3D printer so you can be alerted if you're out of filament. We think this is a great proof of concept that can help prevent failed prints. This project uses an IR optical sensor that can detect whenever an object passes by the sensor. The breakout is mounted to a 3D printed bracket right above the 3D printer. If nothing is detected, an LED buzzer alarm will be triggered letting you know your printer is out of filament. A CutiePie ESP32-S2 reads the IR optical sensor and sends data to Adafruit.io whenever it detects missing filament. The LED buzzer alarm is wired up to a Feather ESP32-S2, so it's a separate device that can be in another room or workspace that's away from the 3D printer. This project uses Adafruit's Whippersnapper, so there's no code, making this really easy to set up and get going. Just install the Whippersnapper firmware onto the ESP32 dev board and add the optical sensor from the Adafruit I.O. device page. From Adafruit I.O., you can create an action using the new Blockly editor to trigger the LED alarm whenever the optical sensor detects a filament runout event. We think this is a great example of having two Wi-Fi dev boards in a project that communicate together. This is great for CNC workshops and 3D printer farms that are in a separate room away from their operators. The optical sensor is wired up to a CutiePie dev board using a 3-pin JST connector. Our 3D printed mount is designed to snap fit onto the aluminum extrusion that's fairly common in the frame of 3D printers. The CutiePie is actually powered off the spare 5 volt USB port on the side of our 3D printer. A powered Darlington transistor is wired up to a Featherwing protoboard to properly drive the LED buzzer alarm. The Feather and Featherwing are secured under the 3D printed base that houses the LED buzzer alarm. We hope this inspires you to make your own IoT filament sensor and check out Adafruit's Whippersnapper for your next IoT project.